Weep with those who weep. Romans 12 verse 15 Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. There are moments when we ought to sympathize with others' losses, try to grasp their emotions, and provide them consolation. John 11 verse 35 Jesus wept. Jesus had a faultless life. He is both our Lord and Savior and our role model. If Jesus thought it was okay to cry occasionally, then we should too. People should generally be encouraged. Seeking to help people find the bright side of situations, trust in the Lord, and even exult in Him should be our goal. The Bible exhorts us to continually delight in the Lord. However, we cannot compel people to act in a certain way because they are fallible in their faith. Thus, it is not always appropriate to try to cheer up someone. Weeping has its time, according to the Bible. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 4 A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Sometimes the best thing to do is to simply let someone know you care about them without attempting to change them. You are communicating that you are important to you by your presence and your deeds. I am impacted by your negative emotions because I am concerned about you. You hold a special place in my heart and I feel your pain when you do. Proverbs 25 verse 20 Singing cheerful songs to a person with a heavy heart is like taking someone's coat in cold weather or pouring vinegar in a wound. Genesis 23 verse 2 And Sarah died in Kirjatharba, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan, and Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. We should be happy for our loved ones when they get to heaven. However, it is normal for us to cry at our loss. Let us not grieve like the rest of the world does. They lack the hope that we do. Nonetheless, expressing emotion is acceptable. God endowed us with feelings. As long as we don't allow emotion to rule us and divert us from carrying out God's purpose, emotion is okay. Say this, Lord, please help me to cry and celebrate when it's appropriate. 